In this video, I'll be going over part 3 of making a game of Pong. If you haven't already, go ahead and watch part 1 and part 2 where I explain some basics for what you'll need to make Pong. But today, we'll be changing the font of a text and we'll be creating a ball with two paddles on the screen. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. So once we open up our text editor, we're going to want to create a new file called main.lua. So here in this first line, we're declaring a library called push. In these two lines, we're declaring a window width and a window height. In these two lines, we're declaring a virtual width and a virtual height. And over here, we have a function called love.load, and this is used to start the game. And over here, this is uh, just um, a default filter for the text. And in this line here, we're using a better looking font. And over here, we're setting love to these um, font size to small. And over here we have cute, um, the function for keyboard handling. And if the escape uh, key is pressed, then that will cause, that will trigger the function, which will cause the um, love to these game to end. And then we end the function here. And over here we have function love dot draw. So this is basically just like a drawing function where you print out things. And here we're um, beginning to render at our virtual resolution. Over here, we're clearing the screen with a specific color. And over here, we're drawing a welcome text towards the top of the screen. Over here, we're rendering our first paddle, which will be on the left side. And here, we're rendering uh, our second, pad uh, second paddle, which will be on the right side. And here, we're going to be rendering our ball, which will be in the center. And then we're going to be ending our uh, virtual resolution and then we end this function here. So if we uh, run this, then we can see the results. So we can see our two paddles now, we can see our new font, and we can see the ball in the middle. So if we try moving up and down, as you can see, it doesn't really work right now, so we haven't got anything functioning. We just got the paddle and these two walls out. And that's basically it for part three of making a game of Pong. I also have a playlist where I put all the videos that I make to create the Pong game if you want to check it out. But anyways, thanks for watching.